Hey everybody, Reaper here, and this video is going to be the video, kind of part two on our trip that Luke and I did, and his brother Josh, and uh, this is when I was riding through, and I'm like, you know what, uh, right there at the border, and by Iowa, is supposed to be Boss Aquatics, so I gave Dwight, a, uh, D'Angelo a call, and sure enough, set up that meeting, and we did a little tour of Boss Aquatics set up. So that's the video you guys are going to see. I know I did a little trick there, but hey, what, what can I say? So I hope you enjoy the video. About 20 feet? Yeah, 20, about 20 feet this way. But it's, it's a really small space though. So what's the newest thing you've been doing then? About uh, well, right here. This is the new racks or whatever they were going in? Yeah, I, just started build, I just built did that one back there, all those tanks over here. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna start working on this. This is I had like a couple of tanks right here. I'm about to build a rack right here. It's gonna have probably about 12, 15 tanks right here. Alright. Yeah. And then like, I just did this one over here. I'm Ooh, flower, flower nice. Ooh, and what do you got in the tubs over there? Oh, oh yeah, it's some watch your heads coming through here. But yeah, in here, it's a bunch of fish in here. Um, they just, they're right now it's a holding tank for some stuff that I'm gonna be putting in some tanks here soon. But there, I got like, oh, there they all go. Yeah. There's a red devil in there. There's a beautiful vieja. This is tons of like, these are a lot of South American, Central American cichlids up in here. Yeah. But they, like I said, a lot of them, they hide, hide back over they here. They like to hide, yeah, yeah they, of course. It's because this, they not used to being this low to the ground. So they not really that comfortable coming out right now. <laughs> and then in here I got a, my, this is my little turtle pond over here. Uh-huh, what kind of turtles? This is a uh, Chinese golden three. I don't know where he at though. In here somewhere. Hiding. Yeah. Who knows where he's at? Probably down somewhere up in the center block somewhere. But yeah, it's a Chinese golden thread turtle up in here. Yeah, I don't know. He's in there somewhere though. He might pop his little head out here in a second. This Ooh, is a big boy over here. Here we go. Now, I, mean, I got a few monsters. Y'all used to seeing monsters and stuff. I, I was going to say, I got, eventually <laughs> I know where these will be going, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I got a few monsters. Mm -hmm. I may had them for probably about four months now. So the cat, I fed him some tilapia last night. His belly's still full. I was going to say, he got a nice full belly there. Yeah, he's still full. Nice arrow. I mean, mm -hmm. and I had got this one. This one, I had bought this tank. And the guy wouldn't let me get the tank without taking these two Oscars and that clown. Oh, really? So kind of like, I didn't buy those fish. I kind of got, like, stuck with them, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> And I was going to bring them up there to you guys. But I'm like, you know what? I'll just raise them up to keep them. And then I bought oh, them the Oscars look nice, man. Yeah. They're beautiful. But uh, I got some secrets coming for them. We can't disclose that, though. But behind closed, <laughs> behind, oh, behind closed doors over here, um, there's going to be something major coming for them, so. Oh, really? Yeah, let me step in the game up a little bit. All right. Let's go see uh, the fish in your tank. What's your favorite tank so far, then? You have one, or? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's hot here. Yeah. Now, people can really see how, like, how small it is out here. Uh, yeah, I'm the tall guy. I just yeah. brushed my head. And then <laughs> I, uh, I like this tank because I've been raising this dude where he at. My baby peacock. Oh, okay. But this might be, honestly, this is probably like my most favorite tank. Ooh. My most put together tank, I would say this. Uh, it just looks so good to I me. I love that wood in there. I, just, I mean, I love every tank I got down here. And things always changing, so I'm always ready to change. It's, it might look this way one day, and next day I'm ready. I'm getting some new fish or something, so I'm always having to change things around. Got some nice little discus in there. Some angels. I need to stock that tank, bro, too. 
a lot of these tanks just guppies, different strands of guppies I'm breeding out. That's all right. That's what I'm. I'm gonna go get my guppies, yeah. Rich. Finally, I'm gonna get my guppies from that's them. Where I'm building that stand over there. I'm gonna take all these ten gallons that's down here. It's about twelve of them. I got about about five more. I'm gonna take all these ten gallons and build a rack right there, and then I'm gonna put thirty long down here. Okay. So I'm upgrading all these smaller tanks here. I'm gonna take all those out and put some more fifty five. Everything running down. I'll be breeding fish too, like African cichlids and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they mess with the African cichlids a lot. So I breed them. Oh, they think we're going to feed them, huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. What are those? Those are beautiful. Oh, yeah, what are those? The Exodon tetras. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Exodons. Pretty rare That's fish. That's right. You know, they, uh, you did the video on them. Mm -hmm, they're pretty rare. They can't really just find them, and especially that size, you're not really find them like that. I like the way they swim, man. <laughs> yeah, they the closest thing to a piranhas. That you oh, can get. really? They come from the same gene, same family. And those are tiger bars? Or? Yeah, these tiger barbs, um, well, it's like five different type of tetras in here. So these are like Jewel Daniels, some angels, I mean, some uh, Australian rainbows in there. There's some uh, nice little pearl gouramis up in there, too. Now, you just did a video on setting these up, yeah. right? Yeah, this is going to be fry right now. They've got like fry in there. You can look and see like African cichlid babies. Oh, oh I do. They're I see them. Like, yeah, they're kind of like rolled out in there. So I'm okay. just gonna have like grow outs for like frying here, plants. Okay. You gonna do any shrimp at all? Yeah, I probably got down here. Ooh. <laughs> I got some red cherry shrimp down there that I've been breeding. Oh yeah, see. I see them. See, they, yeah, they probably that's where I feed that, so they kind of like hang oh, out. Oh yeah. There. But you look, they in there all over the place. So I've been messing with the red cherry, and they've been breeding for me a little bit. I oh, probably awesome. play with some up here too. Ooh. Yeah, they got some more cichlids in? Yeah, this is uh, some peacock. It's called a uh, fire eye peacock, and they got him some females up in there. And then these are some hung guys that I've been breeding now. And then, like, all the babies pop about 60 fish in there, but they all high right now. Really can't see them. But these, <laughs> a lot of they babies up in here, but they got, they all back, back up in there. It's a ton of them, though. Yeah, hard to see them. Yeah, they'll come out here in a second. Just turn all the lights on, they'll come out and be swimming. And I just got like guppies. I've been working with these strands for years. Now, you've only been doing this for... Well, keeping fish? Well, actually doing all this right here in your... Yeah, for about six months down here. About six months, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, about six months. I'm probably like right up on that six month mark right now. It so looks like, awesome, dude. Yeah, six months of doing it like this started off totally different. Then I kind of built these stands and started adding the different tanks and stuff. Ooh, are they, what are these with the long tails, sword tails? Yeah, them some sword tails. Yeah, I like those. Those are nice. Yeah, really nice sword tails. So they get along with guppies, no problem. Mm -hmm. What else gets along with guppies? Most all Tigers. fish that don't mess with their fins. Anything that won't chip at they nip at their fins, they'd be all right. There's so many fish you can play with some with guppies, but I just try to keep it with like the mollies or the sword tails. Uh, some sword tails, though, they will cross with them. Um, oh, really? Yeah, they can cross with sword tails, certain species. Uh, so hmm. you gotta be careful with that. Um, but for the most part, these guys, I've been, these are all the breeders and them like the parents. I mean, them are the babies down there. But, yeah, but these are all like the breeders and stuff. So I just breed them up here, take fry out, dump them off, sell them, get rid of them, you know, whatever. Right, so. Yeah. So what's your next uh, show and uh, event? Well, I, we got a nice swap coming. We got a nice swap. We got a swap meet coming here locally. Now here's some shrub dwellers down there. They might come out the shed. Oh, there's, there's one shelves. right there. That's and they just they live in the shells, yeah, they huh? Live in the shells and um, just hang out. That's in there. crazy. About twenty of them there. So we breed those. They just hang out in there. You'll never see them. Never see them. There's some tanks I got that I ain't really set up yet. No, the only the only time I seen these was on your video, and I'm like, what? Yeah, they they most people go like with like the Maltese and the other Shelleys out there. Um, them are some predators, so they're a little bit different. Um, I didn't know there was fish that just lived in shells. 
that I'm trying to, I just brought him out. Really, he just quarantined in there until I can figure out where I want to put him at. It's a nice little bike he put on some side. I had that probably about two weeks now. Now, is your system all on one or different system? Yeah, it's all a different system. I just run sponge filters. Do you? Run, yeah, most okay. of all my tanks run off sponges. Some so each a, each one is separate, so you can put one in here and it's not going to worry or contaminate. Yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah I don't else. cross. I don't really like doing that. It just creates too many problems, you know. If I, cause you have to have, you got to have like something like you got up there big filtration to do that. Right. You know, what I'm saying to do all those pass through systems and stuff like that. My filtration is not that big, so I can't do all that. So I just. Individually like well, this. I don't know. You keep going. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Never. Wow. This did not just happen. Unbelievable. He got right out. <laughs> he must have seen Reaper. <laughs> he came, he came out of this Where did he? That little crack. That. That's what he came out of. That's why I was confused. Was How did he get out from? Yeah, that oh, track. right here, just yeah. that little, unbelievable. Oh, that just that little bit right there, unbelievable. Wow. He's crazy. He's okay. Yeah, he's a little banged up. That is gold footage right there. Yeah. And that was the red tail that did that, no, or the flag is, tail? Yeah, flag right tail. Whoa. What? what was he tripping on? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Everybody gets out of Reaper's way, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. That's crazy. Huh? It was. That's never happened then before, Ever. I take it? I mean, they're jumpers for sure, but what made them jump like that, I don't know. <laughs> they're definitely jumpers. But You've had people just down just here. I've like, seen people like... down here before, so. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not, I don't know. I'm, I am flabbergasted <laughs> right now, to be honest. But yes, uh -huh. yeah, but most of the time, like, I got a lot of tanks, but not a lot of fish yet. I'm just still getting fish. Everything is always changing for me, so, you know. I'm always trying to get more fish, and you know, right. I see for me, my fish from really just getting stuff that I've always wanted to get. I've been keeping fish since I was a kid, but um, you know, you couldn't afford the stuff that you wanted. So now I'm just pretty much getting everything I always wanted, and then um, breed out these cool different type of guppy strains and stuff. Excellent. A bridge. Ooh, mom, mom, and what is he? He's um, beautiful. He's trying to do it again? Yeah. Was he really? I'm not even around him, so I don't know what's freaking him out. Something freaking him out, huh? Is it these little three races I just put up here? Yeah, I was, at first I thought that was a real turtle. I had the second look at it, I'm like, wait. <laughs> Who is this? Yeah, that's a real turtle. Oh, he disappeared. There was a really pretty red one over here. What yeah, was that's, he? a, that's a Lake Victoria. He's my breeder, but he's so mean in nasty. He always wanted to Really? That's it. We gonna get him to come out. He he was he's out. Beautiful. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's back there. Very. Look at him. Yeah. Wow. Striking color. And he looks ten times better than that. He's just a little scared right now, so he's kind of washed out. But he looks like a rainbow. Not good. He beautiful. got his two females up in there, but he beats them up. So I gotta keep him uh, in there. So he's ready to breed him. He's just too mean and nasty. <laughs> mean and nasty. Just like these guys, another Lake Victorian down here. These are some zebra oblique ones. Oh, those are good. And uh, he's in there hiding somewhere, I obviously. Mean, yeah. But yeah, he's got his female up in there. He just hey, chases. He chases her around 24/7. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, just mean and nasty, man. Mean fish. African sickles are mean, especially you got to keep them with a lot of them. Like in order, like how you got that, like Balaji tank. Right. Like, yeah, you just there's tons of fish in there, so you can do that. But like in small situations, you got to have a lot of. You got to have a lot of them. Like, they gonna just fight and kill each other off. Well, I don't have enough of them yet, so. Well, we appreciate your time. I, mean, and, I appreciate you, know, you coming over. That's dope. Know. I was, I was <laughs> tripping. He, yeah, I know. I, I can text you the address. I'm like, well, <laughs> I hear from like later on this afternoon or something. How long has it been? Like uh, 30 minutes? No, it was like two hours. Uh, two hours. I yeah. fell asleep. I was up when he called. I was asleep upstairs. Yeah, it was I'm a like, two-hour trip. But I knew you were on the end, and we were going. 
you know, the way you kept talking, yeah. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, it was, it we gotta be close, right. you know? It's too far, far off of a route because, um, mm. like I said, you guys come at 80 anyway, so you gotta pass off the highway to come here, for sure. So That's anybody cool. who doesn't know Boss here, just Boss Aquatics, you That's gotta right. check his channel out. Uh, I met him at the Aquachala, the first one, way back. And then we ran into, uh, you know, in the Dallas again. He's doing all the circuits and show. Mm -hmm. And I I don't know, you were on the live stream last night. I was playing and I wasn't saying anything, but I was oh, just yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there, yeah. but I don't know if you noticed, but uh, DIY uh, Joey, or King of DIY, he mm -hmm. did a shout out to you. Oh, yeah, said, I've seen that. I've know, seen that. Yeah, I appreciate okay. that. I appreciate yeah. that. So you people, you check out his channel, man. He's got yeah, some great things trying going to, on. Trying to grow and, uh, you know, really, I just my channel really is just about like vlogging. It's like a daily life vlog of just what I've got going on down here. You know, mm -hmm. taking. I don't really try to teach people too much. I just show you what I do, and uh, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's always those trolls and haters, oh, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm starting to get them now too. Some the channels growing a little bit. I'm starting to get them. I just block them. Yeah. That's all we do, block them. And, it, you know, they're getting rid of the thumbs down. Oh, they right are? Here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think, uh, next month, the first or something like that, or okay. January. But that's going away, so, you know. And a lot of it, you know, when you get a bunch of people harassing you and doing that, you're sponsors. And yeah, the ads yeah, don't yeah, want to, they don't help everything. you out. But with that, it's going to help out every YouTuber out there. Yeah, for sure. I can't wait. Alrighty. Well, thank you very yeah, yeah, much for the tour, it, man. man. That's you dope. know, <laughs> that's dope. how that foot tree. I see you got the little. It's still. Uh, little sore. Well, as soon as we're done with this, here. Uh, <laughs> <see. laughs> All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that video of Boss Aquatic. It was awesome. Yeah, that little flagtail, I don't know what was up with him, but he was just trying to get out of that. Well, he did get out the one time and then tried again. But, yep, yeah, Boss got a lot of things going on. I like him. He, he's an awesome dude. You guys got to check out his channel. I know a lot of you have, just by the comments I've seen before. But, yep, yeah, he's an upcoming YouTuber, and he's doing really good. So, uh, we got a lot of things coming up. Uh, I'm not even sure what's coming up. I've been out of the picture for so long. It's ridiculous. But, got to get back in there, see what's going on, and give Rich a hand. So, you guys stay tuned for more videos coming up. Uh, stay fishy, my friends. Hit the like, share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with a reaper.